As Things Appear, the title of my new book of stories, it reflects the fact that I'm always paying very close attention to what's around me in the environment, details, the gestures of someone as he or she moves through the street, a scrap of paper on the sidewalk, and from these little details, the stories start to come together. But at the same time, I'm aware that a lot of what we think is true is not as solid or as certain or as stable as it, as it appears to be. I'm writing stories in which fantasy and reality blend together, the real and the unreal. Are my stories autobiographical? Well, I'd say that all storytelling is autobiographical to some degree. I know that in these stories in my new book, various details of people I've seen, places I've been to, events that I've witnessed have made their way into these stories, for sure. So about the little kitty cat figurine that appears on the cover of the book, that's what the Japanese call a maneki neko. A maneki neko means a beckoning cat. His little paw is raised like this in a sign of greeting to a passerby, and it's considered a good luck charm. There is a maneki neko statue that figures in one of the stories, but I can't tell you which one, and I can't tell you how, because I don't want to give it away. In my work as a journalist, I've written a lot about artists and the art world. One of the big stories in my new book is called The Curator, and it's a very unusual one. It starts out with a curator at a famous museum who wakes up one morning and she realizes she really doesn't understand anything about art. And she has a big exhibition of paintings opening in just a few days. The story includes a gang of goth teenagers, a very unscrupulous art dealer, a very goofy Mexican housekeeper, and a lot of Chinese food. Both as a journalist and as a writer of fiction, I watch people, including myself. The characters in my stories, they are not aware all the time of how vulnerable they are. But what I like about them is that they are vulnerable and they go into the world with their hearts open. And so I think they are able to live bigger, fuller lives, even though they're very ordinary people. Back in the 17th century, the Spanish poet and playwright Calderón de la Barca wrote a very famous play called Life is a Dream. And I look at life and I wonder, is it?